When I first saw the white cliffs and the lighthouse beacon through the fog, I felt it calling out to me. had been abandoned, seemed frozen in time, as if waiting for voices of children playing or lives being lived, as if waiting for redemption. So, today is the day we choose a house, Cynthia. I'm not going to spend another night in the motel. Well, I just had to show you this old Victorian. I mean, if anyone's going to rent a classic like this, it would have to be a closet romantic like you. Oh, my God, I remember this place. We used to park up here when we were kids. It was for lovers, all right. I remember my first time right over there by that lighthouse. Who was it lived here? The Roths. I remember Clay Roth. They owned the big cannery. It's been vacant for a while. It's such a dream house. Why hasn't it been sold? Honey, I could just never seem to close escrow. Just unlucky, I guess. So why hasn't anyone lived here? Oh, some kind of family tragedy. The daughter ran off. You know how superstitious folks are around here. Well, just needs a little fixing up. Oh, I don't think this is the right house for us, Annalise. Let's go on back to town. No, I can spend the summer getting it ready. It is so far from town, and we only have one car. Mom, I'll walk. Come on, when are we going to ever find a house that has this much soul? Or this much dust? I don't know if we can afford it. All right, Cynthia, this is your chance to close a deal. How much? 900. 750, that's it. Mom, no more excuses. Now we don't have to stay another night at the motel listening to the moaning in the next room. I'll try to keep it down next time. You should be so lucky. <sighs> well, you have managed to unload this white elephant on me. It's a classic and you know it. Look at it, it's practically furnished with antiques. You know, it looks like they just walked out of here and locked the door behind them. He did. Guess he couldn't live with the memories.
moment I felt someone looking at me. Watching and waiting. Annalise hard, broke her heart. She was a light in her daddy's eyes. Honey, I'm so sorry about Frank. We all are. I mean, it was just so sudden. Well, the whole town is happy you came back home. Laying down there. Laying down there. There's no one down there. Honey, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I just I got Liz dizzy looking down at the rocks. It's all. I'm okay. You scared me to death. You should have your coffee on the porch. It's a whole different place when the fog lifts. You look tired. How'd you sleep? Weird dreams. Like what? Strange. Standing on the edge of the cliff looking down. I saw this woman falling off. She looked at me with these dead eyes like I was the one who pushed her. And then I heard this voice in my bedroom calling my name. Not this again, Anna. You've got to let your father go. Mom, this has nothing to do with Dad. 
You used to wake up in the middle of the night hearing him call your name. The therapist said this was a common dream for people in mourning. This was a girl's voice. You're right. You're right, okay? It's, it's just a dream. Vellum? Clay. Clay Roth. Hi. Morning. This is my daughter, Annalise. Hi. We want to replant the garden, if that's okay. I'm not so sure I want the yard dug up. Clay, I don't suppose you remember me. You were a little ahead of me in school. Oh, well, of course. Laura, you were a cheerleader my last year. And you were the star quarterback. <sighs> and we all had a crush on you. Well... Our quarterback ended up cannon fish, I'm afraid. Well, I think there's a big difference between owning a cannery and shoving fish into a can. Not in the beginning, believe me. And I heard from Cynthia you ended up a successful real estate agent in Boston. Life sure has a way of turning the wheel. Life is full of surprises. Yeah. Well, great to have you back. I just wanted to make sure you had everything you needed. Well, we'd like to fix up the house. Of course. I'll tell you what, I'd like to help. Whatever tools and paint you need, you just charge it to me at the hardware store in town. Well, this flower garden must have been beautiful years ago. It certainly was. My daughter planted it. It was very special to her. Why don't you come inside a while? Every house has its little quirks, and you can show us how things work. Well, to be honest, I haven't been back inside that house. Not since. I'm sorry. I understand. Why don't you come by my house in town? We'll talk then. All right. Bye. Daddy! Daddy! Daddy, look at me! I'm here! Mr. Roth? Girl, you go ahead and replant that flower garden. That's a good idea. But do it over here by the porch. Ground out there by the cliff. It's too dangerous. You don't see that? See what?
I have to do some work in the office to get ready for Monday. Why don't you come in and visit? I can only take Cynthia in small doses. Most of my conversations with her end up discussing her cup size and her need for male companionship. I'm just gonna walk around town. In a little while, everyone will know you. That's what's nice about a small town. There's gotta be a library around here somewhere. You spend half your life in a library. Mom, I like to read. Remember reading? It's down the street. So I'll meet you back here in about an hour. Good day. Uh, Mrs. Greeley, the librarian. Are you finding everything you need? Yes, but I can't seem to find the microfiche reel for the local newspaper about five years ago. Oh, it might have been misplaced. I'll see if I can find it. Oh, thanks. You're new in town, aren't you? Yeah, I just moved here. Annalise Villam. Oh, my gosh. A Laura's girl. I've heard all about you. You folks, you moved into the old Roth place. News travels fast around here, huh? Thanks. I didn't know that house was fit to live in. What I am is a pushy broad who can close a sale like no one's business. And you are going to deceive people into believing the office is classy. We're going to make money together. Hey, partner. Now that I'm on the hook for this house, you gonna tell me the real reason it was never rented? Well, some of the locals shy away because of the rumors. Rumors? Ann Rolf fell off the cliff in the fog one night. And some folks say they didn't think it was an accident. Our ever-capable police department questioned the daughter, Mary. But Clayroff threatened them with lawyers, and the cops backed off. Mary was already under psychiatric care. After the mother died, she ran off. People in town felt like Mary was capable of anything. She was half crazy anyway. Her disappearing like that was a bad sign. From a distance, I knew it was him. The boy painted on the wall of her room. But he wasn't a boy anymore. You drive. Yeah. We need some gas. Can we get some service? What do you need? We need some gas. <sighs> this is really just a garage. There's a super save down the street. That's where most folks around here go. Well, this is a gas station, right? Yeah, I fix cars. Well, it says gas out front. Look, lady, nobody comes here for gas. My prices are too high, my gas is watered down, and I don't wash anyone's windows. If you don't mind, I got a business to run here. You're Johnny, right? 
Yeah. Johnny Tassana, do I know you? Well, Johnny, I want you to fill my tank. Did you do that for me? And then I want you to wash my windshield while I watch. So, you folks just passing through? We well, rented the Roth house. Up at the lighthouse? Just here for the summer? No. We're locals now. Do you know the Roths? Everyone knows Mr. Clay Roth. He's the richest man in town. Did you know his daughter? Yeah. Nice to see her around. What was her name? Her name was Mary. Yeah. I guess she was an artist. She painted a guy on her wall of her room. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How much do we owe you? $22 with the quarter oil. Thank you for the service. Can you direct us to the Roth house? Yeah, just take the coast road up to the cove. This is the newest house, you can't miss it. Bye, Johnny. Bye. Hey, what's your name? Annalise. Annalise Fillon. Bye, Annalise Fillon. Looks like this town is having an effect on you. Huh? Well, you weren't exactly shy back then. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess not. I just felt like I knew him. It's a really beautiful place, Clay. Well, it's mostly my wife's doing. She designed it and made it a home. Hey, girl, how do you like your house? Oh, I love it. I like my room. A lot of good-looking guys plastered on the walls. I know. Mary used to like to paint on the walls. I suppose I could send someone to paint it over. No, no. I like it that way. It's fine. You like horses? Yeah. I used to ride with my dad all the time. Well, come on. I'll show you. I was hoping to meet your wife. Oh, Danielle's with a patient, but she'll be out real soon. My wife, Danielle, is our local psychiatrist. Yeah, I bought this land because of Mary. She loved the pasture down by the river. She loved the horses. That was her horse, wasn't it? How did you know that? What's his name? It's called a Midnight. They were always together. There's Daddy. Hey. <laughs> Give him a great big hug. Hiya, big kid. Oh, you must be Laura. I'm Danielle. Hi. Uh, hi. Hi. I want you to say hi to a couple of friends of mine. This is Annalise. This is her mother, Laura. Hi. Hi. What's your name? Doofus. <laughs> Doofus, can you tell your other name? Heather. That's a pretty name. How old are you? Four. She's a big girl. So Clay tells me you two went to school together at White Cliffs. Well, actually, I only knew him from a distance. Well, I was hoping you were an old girlfriend so you could tell me if he was always this stubborn. Well, I've never been stubborn. No, never. You really have a lot of Thank you. Clay tells me you designed it. Be careful with that stallion, Annalise. He reared up on me just the other day. Hi. Hey. Hi. Big guy. How are you? I'll be down. Never let anyone else get near him. <laughs> Annalise, I hear you're fixing up the old place. Yeah, we're replanting the flower garden. 
Well, if there's anything we can do to help, I'm sure our gardeners would... No, that's okay. I want to do it myself. I want to spend the summer restoring it the way it was when Mary planted it. You know, I shot a home video about six years ago. It shows the gardens exactly as they were. Well, I'd love to see it. Well, come on. Look at all those flowers. See them all the way back there? Oh, that garden it was her baby. There was always something blooming somewhere. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my party, everybody. Thank you, lady. Hey, over here. <laughs> oh, Daddy, you're in that camera. God. <laughs> Come here, Daddy. Thank you for my necklace. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I win. <laughs> wow. I got candles. Oh, Mary, oh, They're I beautiful. Hi, baby. I love you. go to him. Tell him. He can't hear me. He can't see me. No one can. Except you. I've waited for so long. Don't be scared. Now.
Don't scream. Everything's cool. Just don't scream, okay? Why do you have to scare me like that? You scared me. I just didn't want you to scream. Don't ever grab me again. Okay, okay, I got it. Why do you come here? Just be alone. Think about things. You sit alone up here in the dark? Look, I'm sorry I grabbed you. I didn't mean to scare you. I want you going home. Is it because of her? Mary Roth? What do you know about her? She was your girlfriend, wasn't she? For a while. You and Mary met here? All the summer nights. You're only 16. It's about the only thing I ever really cared about. What happened to her? Man, she just slipped away. Listen, Johnny. Mary is still in that house. Now you're mocking me. No. I saw her. She's dead, but her spirit is still in that house. Dad? I felt what she felt. Loneliness. What are you talking about? She's been waiting for a really long time. Waiting for what? I think maybe you know. secrets take my advice find another house forget all this ever happened Good night Johnny thanks for bringing the tools by yeah you know, if this real estate thing doesn't work out you can always get work in my place as a gardener are you sure you wouldn't like a cup of coffee? Oh, another time, Laura. Bye. Bye. played the piano beautifully, full of feeling. My daughter played like that. How long have you played the piano? 
I've never played before in my life. told us you ran away. I'm still here. I tried to tell him. But he can't hear me. How did you die? They've been giving me these pills. Keep me out of the nut house. Shh. I was in the bathtub. I must have fallen and hit my head. I remember the water turning red as I drowned. Why are you doing this to me? I can't leave here till they know the truth. What truth? Someone pushed her off that cliff. Who killed her? I couldn't see in the fog. When I got to the edge, she was already lying on the rocks. Oh, I saw her. She looked broken. Like a dog fell. The dreams I have at night. They're not dreams. Those are your memories, aren't they? I'm trapped here. I've got to know who killed her so that I can leave this house. This really scares me. No. Don't leave me! I thought you'd understand. I thought you'd help me. That's the only reason I let you stay in this house.
Annalise's pupils weren't responding to the light quite the way they should. Respond how? Well, generally, the pupils constrict from the light. Hers are staring straight at me without flinching. She may have a slight concussion. Oh, she's real lucky. That was a hard fall. She could have broken her neck. I'd like to see her again very soon. If you could book an appointment first thing next week. Thank you. She's never pulled a stunt like this before. Strange. That stallion would let her ride like that. Annalise, you really scared everybody the other night. I know. I'm sorry. Sometimes I think I'm sleepwalking. I don't remember doing things. Have you ever had these experiences before? Ever since my dad died. I've been getting worse here. Your mother tells me you've had trouble sleeping? When I fell asleep, I have the same dream. Tell me about the dream. You see a woman. She's falling off the cliff. Does the dream frighten you? Scared me at first, but now I know what Mary wants. Mary wants. She didn't run away, like they say. She's dead. If Mary is dead, how could she want anything? She told me. You should see your face right now. I know it sounds nuts, but I'm just telling you the truth. Annalise, your mother told me about the sudden death of your father. How on some level you must relate to Mary and the terrible loss she must have felt. Yeah, I relate. You know, when I talk to patients about the death, of a parent, anger is always close to the surface, right below grief. Do you feel any anger? Sometimes. Do you feel angry at your mother? My father was mapping a cave in Mexico, three miles under the ground. got lost. He wandered until he died. He was alone. In the dark. Your father's gone and it must hurt to know that you can't do anything about that. Mary's dad isn't gone. Maybe I can help her. What do you mean by that? Find out what really happened that night? Mrs. Vellum, you should consider renting a different house. The tragedy that took place there may be triggering guilt and emotion more powerful than she can handle. I'm going to give you some medication that may help prevent these kinds of episodes. I would also recommend that she be hospitalized for observation. A few weeks, she would be completely in my care. Oh, I don't know. I don't Speaking know. Speaking plainly, Annalise could reach her breaking point. I could take care of her myself. Mrs. Vellum, Laura, what we both want is for Annalise to be safe at home with you. But if I feel she's a danger to herself or to others, it would be my responsibility to intervene. I would have no other choice. Be careful. Call you later to see how you're doing. Well, I'll probably be in the garden, but I'll listen for the phone. Don't forget your medicine. See you later, Mom. What are you doing here?
You can invite me in. Yeah, I guess, for a minute. It's definitely you. Chevy motor torn apart in the kitchen. It's a Ford. I'm gonna get that out of here pretty soon. Good move. You know, you're gonna have to help out in this deal a little. I say something and you go ahead and say something. Gonna break the ice. Seen the canneries across town? It stinks when you drive by. That's where I come from. She was a little rich girl and you were the bad boy with tattoos, huh? It was a long time ago. She believed in you. Well, no one else did. I don't want to talk about it. You know, you want me to dislike you, but I see right through you. Yeah, right. They called you white trash, so you decided to prove them right. You should open up your own palm reading shop. You bought that gas station. You figured you'd make something of yourself. Try and make it right for her in this town. Going some nights to the lighthouse, alone in the dark, thinking about her. Get the hell out of here. You're afraid. You're as crazy as she was. You and I are the only ones who can help her. I need you. How can I help her? You said she was dead. Meet me tonight at the lighthouse. I'm busy tonight. You'll be there. What makes you so sure? Because you loved her. You know, I want to ask you something. How come I can see you and I can't see my father? Well, maybe someday you will. So full of life. I tried to picture him on the other side, but but I can't. Well, it's hard to reach across. I knew I'd give anything if I could touch Johnny one more time. I haven't seen him since that night he walked away from me. Well, you need are my hands. Do you think he'll know? It's me? <laughs> I don't think men are that observant. I'm right here. Night. Good night. getting out of the house. You said I could help Mary. How? Someone killed her mother. Who told you that? Mary told me. What do you mean? You tell me she talks to you? Yeah. This is too weird for me. You gotta tell me what happened. I need to know that I can trust you. It didn't work out, that's all. You let her on? I didn't lead her on. I never promised her. You're lying! I cared about her. She was waiting for you at the lighthouse, wasn't she? You told her that it was over. It would have never worked out. You told her that you loved her. She was hurting and you just cut her loose? Clay Roth offered me a good job if I would stop seeing her. I was only 16. I didn't know what to do. When you come from my side of town, you gotta take what you can take. 
I never thought this would happen. What happened? Her mom came out of nowhere. St. Mary would never go with a punk like me. I walked away. When I turned back, Mary was arguing with her mom. She started freaking out. You're not telling me something. I think Mary pushed her off that cliff. I never saw her again. I thought she'd come back, but she didn't. She would have come back to you. If she could. You gotta know that. Believe in that. Annalise, what are you doing out here? I'm okay. Oh, you scared me to death. Why are you doing this to me? Whose jacket is that? It's Johnny's. Did you spend the night with him? And if I did, well, you don't know anything about him. I know a whole lot about him. You don't know anything about guys like that. We're not really talking about me and Johnny, are we? We're talking about you. I fell for a boy just like Johnny, who loved to take risks. Everybody told me it was a mistake, that he would get killed on one of his crazy stunts. And they were right. You want me to be afraid? Like you? Well, I don't want to be like you. He left us alone. You're not hurt that he's dead. You're hurt that he left you alone. Why are you talking to me like this? Something is happening to me, and you're not listening. You are fooling yourself. You know what? You don't believe in me. Just like you didn't believe in Dad. It's always your way or no way. doing you just want 
Johnny for yourself. You think you can take him away from me? What are you talking about? I don't want you seeing him anymore. He's my boyfriend. Why are you saying that? I'm crazy. Didn't they tell you that? Mary, did you kill your mother? Did you push her off the cliff? You saw in the dream. Oh, my God. He loves me, not you. You're dead. I want you out of my house. I need to prepare you before you go in, Laura. We had to restrain Annalise. She was so agitated. Oh, God. I wondered if we could talk to Annalise alone for a while. Of course. I'll be just outside the door. Thank you. Annalise, how are you feeling? How did I get here? Your mom brought you in. You had a pretty scary night last night. Mary came after me. I... Hey, girl. Oh my God. At least what happened last night? She got inside my head. She, she wanted to scare me. I... Is Mary still talking to you? I'm the only one who can see her. Or hear her. I... She wants me to help her. I... No, you don't believe me. Well, I believe that you believe these things. You think I'm crazy? No. My job at the moment is to listen, not to judge. You're right. How does Mary want you to help her? By finding out the truth. Annalise, let us help you. Mom, I know you don't believe me. I... I'm just scared, that's all. Um... You have to unstrap her. Clay, please, we are trying to help her. You look at her, she's calm now. Annalise, we want you to take this medication. It'll help you clear your head. No. No, please. I, that, no, that stuff makes me crazy. You know, it takes time to regain your balance. You have to trust me. There we go. Can I leave now? I just... I don't want to stay here. Please, Mom, I just want to go home. They say you have to stay tonight, but I'll be right outside all night, and then I'll take you home tomorrow. that she may really hurt herself. I cannot let her be locked up like that. Mary was my patient. I wasn't able to help her, not enough to keep her stable. I won't let that happen again. So what are we talking about here? Worst case scenario, 
I think Annalise could be suffering a complete mental breakdown, as I believe Mary did. seems to make her happy. Come on, we've got houses to shop. You've got to earn a living. The office is just a few minutes away. She seems so fragile. I just don't think I shall leave her at all. Laura, she hasn't had any more episodes. She'll be fine. Annalise, I've got to go to work for a while, but I'm wearing my beeper, so you can call me if you need me. I'll be fine. Bye. Bye. And Jack fell down and broke... broke his crown and Jill it's came time home for your bath, bath, Heather. I want Daddy to do it. I know. Uh, <laughs> go ahead, Doofus. I'll come up in a minute. Hi. I saw the editor of the paper. And he wants to know if the rumors are true about a ghost at the Cliff House. He wants to write a story. Well, I'll, I'll talk to him tomorrow. I'll tell him to mind his own business. The entire town is gossiping about her being possessed by your daughter, Mary. I never should have let Cynthia talk me into taking in renters. I don't want anybody in that house. Why don't you just sell the house and be done with it? I can't. What are you so afraid of? What if Mary is really in that house? Mary ran away. That's what you said. What if Mary didn't run away? What if she's dead? I, I know it's crazy. I mean, Annalise said that Mary was waiting for me. You certainly don't believe that there is a ghost in that house. This girl, Annalise, is seriously disturbed. You've got to stop this. Look, you have... You've got to protect our family. Heather is your daughter, too. I'll tell him to leave. Before things get out of hand. Again, how do I find a killer? Ask Johnny. He won't believe me. He thinks you killed your mother. Do you believe me? Don't worry. You can make him believe. Johnny's got to have a life. He needs someone to hold on to. A warm touch. At least I know he will have you. How do you know I want him? Because I know you. I've seen the way you watch him. The way you look at him in those jeans of his. I don't know if it's me so much that wants him. Or you. I looked for you in the station. Closed. 
Where's your engine? Finished. Maybe you'll give me a ride sometime. Probably goes a little too fast for you. Well, you never know until you try it. What is your problem? I didn't expect this to happen. Yeah, well, me neither, but it happened. I stood by and watched Mary go crazy in that house. I can't go through that again. Is that why you won't let me into your life? I'm dealing with the facts of life now, Anna Lisa. I got the facts down now. I got them down real good. Oh, yeah? Well, what would happen if I kissed you right now? I'd be kissing you this time, man. Yeah. Yeah. Just me. You're afraid, aren't you? About what they'll say if you're with me? I care about you. It's one of the facts I'm dealing with. I needed to hear that. Look, we both got lost for a little while. But if we can help Mary, maybe we can find our way back. I'll help you. What about after? Film. I'm a patient here. We met the other day. Oh, yes, I remember. How are you feeling? Much better. Good. You look better. I have a question about my medication. The prescription. I was wondering if you can tell me exactly what it is. Have you taken any of these? Yeah. They seem to make everything pretty weird. Uh, would you excuse me a moment, please? Doctor. This can have a devastating effect on someone with that diagnosis. Well, what do I do? Cover your ass. Uh, who gave you these? Uh, Daniel Roth gave them to me. Oh, um, I'll ask her about it. I'll, I'll no, get... It's okay. You know, uh, it's probably my mistake. I may have mixed up the pills in the medicine cabinet. I think I'd better hold on to these. I want my pills. Give me my... Nurse calls Danielle. She's gonna find out we know about the medicine. You can't lose it like that. They're just waiting for you to screw up. You know, if I was still taking those jagged little pills, I'd be a zombie by now. I think she did the same thing to Mary. You gotta tell me what you know, Johnny. We're trying to find a killer. You never think it was kind of odd that Clay married his daughter Shrink? The man's wife dies. He marries a family therapist who comforts him. Probably happens all the time. Yeah, what if he was getting comforting before he found his wife dead? You know that for a fact? I followed him home one night. He wasn't getting any therapy, I'll tell you that much. If someone killed Mary, where's her body? They could have put her anywhere. They could have dumped her in the ocean. Well, she said she was trapped here, and that's the word she used. Her body has to be here. You know, he didn't want me digging in the garden out by the cliff. This rose where her heart would have been. Like he loved her. Let's get the cops. Let's yank Mr. Clayroff out of his mansion. 
Maybe we can make Clay admit what he did. Make him face his daughter. Fine shot, Mr. Roth. What are you doing here? It's been a while since I was here. You invited me here five years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Oh. So is Annalise falling for that small town, tough guy routine, huh? Not enough for you to latch on to Mary. But you go and get yourself another unstable girl to play with, right? I saw you and Danielle together before your wife died. I told Mary the truth, but she didn't believe me. You get out of here! She trusted you. You get out of here, I'll have you thrown in jail. She found out the truth. That's why she went crazy. Get out of here. We found something of yours in the garden. What did you say? What did you do, Mr. Clay Roth? Ah! She was abusive and violent, and it was completely unprovoked. I was just trying to help her with her medication. I understand. I think she's psychotic. The only thing that keeps me from pressing charges is your promise that she will receive help. I told you I didn't want anyone digging here. Johnny said you had something to show me. Yeah, it's in the house. So where is Johnny? Didn't he bring you here? He said he'd meet us. He's right behind. Where's your mother? She went to town. Let's take a look. Why didn't you ever come back to the house? Things I didn't want to remember. The other day, when you played the piano, the melody you played, how did you know that? I used to play it all the time. It was my favorite song. Daddy, I played it for you. Why do you call me Daddy? You know. Daddy, listen to me. Someone murdered Mama. What? I heard her screaming. I saw someone hitting her, and she tried to cover her head, but they, they pushed her to the ground, and they kicked her over the edge. Annalise, where did you get that necklace? You gave it to me on my birthday. You dug it up. You disturbed her peace. Daddy, why won't you believe in me? It's hard for me to believe in something I can't see with my own eyes.
You can't be my daughter. No, she's dead. Tragedy, that's all. Tell the truth, Daddy. Were you there that night she died? Daddy, don't lie anymore. Daniel was pregnant with my child. She wanted me to leave your mother, but I couldn't. I went to my office to meet her, to tell her, but it's when they called me to tell me your mother fallen off the cliff. Is that the truth? I loved you, Mama. Annalise, I have decided that the best thing is for you to be at the hospital for a while. I won't go. I have to find who killed my mother. Annalise, I am your mother. Annalise! Annalise! Get out of my home. You've caused enough trouble already. You have to believe in her. She's just trying to save Mary. I can't see her either, but I know she's here. I cannot believe in ghosts. I didn't run away. I drowned in the bathtub. Please don't do this. No, way. Let us speak. I sank down into the red water, and then everything was quiet. I was traveling through this tunnel of light. You said she ran away. I found her floating in the tub. There were pills everywhere. She'd fallen and hit her head. And then you came and pulled me out. You laid me on the floor and somehow you got me breathing again. Annalise, who told you all of this? You said, please don't go. I can't lose you, too. And your words brought me right back to my body. Daddy, it hurt to be brought back. Clay, is this true? <sighs> she started breathing again just for a, a moment. And then she said, Mama, in a calm voice, and your heart stopped just like you decided it i never told anybody that oh my god you dressed me in my blue dress my favorite one and you carried me out but i couldn't go with my body daddy i was trapped here I believe in you. I'm so sorry. Mary? She buried her like she was a dead dog! 
thought I had to do something to protect her name so they wouldn't know she'd pushed her mother off a cliff. She would never hurt anyone. I think you killed her. No. I loved her more than my own life. Mary? Annalise. You wrecked everything. I was carrying his baby. But she was his wife. Why? I'm the only one that deserved to be his wife. You killed Mary's mother. I didn't really kill her. I replaced her. And then I had to get rid of little Mary. Everything was fine until you came along. This is completely your fault. She trusted you with her secrets. You were the only one who knew she was in that house alone. She was so drugged up on your pills, she couldn't even fight back when you held her under the water. Everything is back to normal. For a long time, I thought it was possible that I had made it all up about Mary, that I imagined her. You like it? Mm-hmm. It's real pretty. It's just like I hoped it would be. Go now.
always be my sister. Larry, what's it like on the other side? It's such a feeling. A wonderful feeling. I wish I could go with you. I'll wait for you. On the other side. was real, all right. I believe in anything. I believe in her. 